Hey, my name's Aaron Castle. I like to throw stuff. And Aaron Castle, first place in the shot put as well as the discus. Congratulations. When did you decide what college to go to and what influenced your decision? Uh, I decided to go to the University of Arizona. I unofficially committed to them in November. Uh, I basically decided to go there because I like the coach, I like the program, and I like the school. I wish they'd measure it. My typical workout day, I like to get home and start eating a bunch of protein as quickly as I can. Usually start off with some protein infused milk stuff. All right, next I'm gonna eat uh, some cottage cheese. Pretty high in protein. Only got about a half a container left. So now I'm gonna eat. All right, now I'm gonna move on to some yogurt. Uh, I didn't have as much cottage cheese as I usually eat, so I got to get some extra protein somewhere else. And uh, I get a lot of yogurt. Doesn't have as much protein as cottage cheese does, but it's pretty good. I also like to eat the Greek yogurt too. That's the good stuff. Don't be eating none of that Splenda Safeway crap. Actually, I'm still a little hungry, so I'm gonna eat an orange. Oranges are good to eat. Uh, vitamin C actually helps increase testosterone, so that's good to know. Oh, another important thing for training. I got a bunch of uh, big blocks of salt sitting around. You see this? It really focuses the chi well. And it's a lamp. That's right. Metals and other track accessories. I've got a lot of stuff. A lot of plaques I got. A lot of people ask me, like, well, you know, what's my favorite? metal and other stuff when they see my stuff but uh, I like them when I throw far so for example this one it's the first time I threw over 60 feet at Pasco invite it's a pretty big meet and I was pretty happy with that and the next year I hurt my wrist there and threw okay and still won but I wasn't very happy with what I did there so uh, I like the 2011 one but I don't care much for the two or for the 2012 one all right this battery's about to die I gotta change batteries there's a lot of documenting to do here this is my bucket of sand. Now, you might be wondering, why do I have a bucket of sand down in my basement? Well, it's one of my favorite grip exercises because you got to have strong hands for throwing and other stuff. Just doing stuff in sand. That's kind of boring, and it is, but I'll do it for like half an hour sometimes. It's really important to have strong hands. This is my office. This is where I do my work. It's also where I practice my tech deck skills. I'm actually a man of many skills. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm pretty pretty skilled. Okay, not that was bad. Okay, I was getting better. Okay, bad, bad. Okay, this, this isn't bad. I can't do this right now. The pressure is on. I've landed 720s before, I'll assure you. Moving on. Kind of started lifting my sophomore year, and then uh, it's important lifting to do all your major lifts, and I kind of did everything. Stuck with it. Got pretty strong. Clean 325 or so. Bench press is around 340, 350. Squat 450 to 500. And um, yeah, deadlift 500 pounds 15 times. So I'm pretty strong, but getting stronger. Not really sure where I was going with that. Just thought I should tell you. I also live in crowded conditions. Gotta really watch the light bulbs when you're 6'5. I've broken this one right here about three times with my head. Really got to be situationally aware when you're large. Uh, this is a very important tool for any athlete. Do a hard day at the gym or out in the field. You need to come home, play some Xbox. It's really important. You know, I got my setup here. Got to have a good variety of games. You know, you want your basic. There's Rage, you got Skyrim, you got Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, Gears of War 3. Mass Effect 3 and Crisis 2, you know, that's a good set of games right there. Got the Xbox, it's pretty impressive. 
It's time for me to start playing my favorite game, Skyrim. I'll get some footage later. Alright, uh, hey, I'm back. Alright, now as an athlete, it's really important to keep your fridge stocked, alright? You never know what's gonna come over to your crib at any time, you gotta keep things ready. Alright, now, say you get that kind of health foods chick over to your crib, got the orange juice, alright? I got the baby carrots and the full size carrots. She got a choice now, that's really gonna throw her off her game, alright? I got the lean ham, I got tea, I got, uh, you get kind of one of those strange girls that you don't really understand what the heck they're doing. Uh, I got some Schweppes, uh, tonic water, don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, contents may be under pressure. So don't open that near your eyes, ladies. Alright, I got the, I got this Refresh Safeway brand soda. It's good for those girls who have a obesity or diabetes problem. And the Diet Coke, again, the obesity. Also, I got the Western Family baking soda. You know, I gotta keep things fresh. And it's kind of my area of the fridge. I got my, my milk with protein stuff in it. Yeah, turkey, you know. Then, you know, you, grow, you, know, you get one of those bigger girls over to your crib. You got, uh, you know, they're getting hungry and all. Bam! Croissant sandwiches, Jimmy Dean. Mmm, dinner. Okay, hey, don't judge me. I'm just getting back into my weight routine. Hello, babe. Hey, give me a beat. <laughs> Yo, my name's Darren. Rhymes with flaring. I like shot put. What? Discus? It's okay, too. West Side. <laughs> Ow! I'm done. Ah, oh, I to school too. I don't use any machines. Those are for little girls. Alright? After seeing the movie Terminator, I don't trust machines anymore. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as far as my lips go. <laughs> cut that out. Cut that out. Okay, as far as my lips go. <laughs> I don't trust machines anymore. Right. I'm, I'm shh, shh. Feel me? Yeah. Hold this, man. I'm trying to fix this. I'm gonna show up my athleticism. <laughs> Another canned goods I have down here. Probably thinking, what is this guy preparing for? Well, I don't really know, but I'm pretty much ready for any kind of apocalypse or zombie invasion that should happen. I also have a large amount of weapons that I'm not going to get into detail about with you, but uh, they're there. Get one of them, maybe a Latino, Latina chick. Want something to taste like home? Boom. Jimmy Chonga. Right there. El Monterey. All natural. Because you gotta, you know, stay away from distractions in the weight room. It's not there, not there to socialize, I'm there to do work. And music point. helps because people talk to you, just pretend like you don't hear them and you just keep working out and they don't get offended. And if they do, I don't really care because I'm 6'5". 